Welcome back guys to Judo Highlights. Here we have Yoshida from Japan. And just as a side note, when was the last time you saw Japanese judoka at a judo event? You know, ever since uh, COVID happened, don't think we've seen many Japanese judoka on the circuit. Don't think we've seen any since Yoshida, to be honest. But uh, yeah, here we are. So she has uh, only four matches during this competition at the Doha Judo World Masters against the pool of athletes in the under 57 kg category were not as large as the other categories so we're starting off with her first matchup uh, round three against Mutsunungui Diasunomeima I probably butchered that name but <laughs> we'll just go with it anyway so there's a great Uchimata coming up uh, her opponent manages to defend for the most part for a few minutes, but the inevitable is coming. Here we see a nice little tactical play, push out, a little kosoto, and then an ochigari to follow up. Just to force the shiro here. And here we have the beautiful Ujimata. So left versus right, not the best grip by blue. Allows Yoshida to just come in there with a lot of speed, a lot of lift on the leg, and it's scored an Ipon. Let's have a look at that one more time. So she's got a strong sleeve grip, moves into it, great lift, and it could have been a Wazari, but ends up being scored a, an Ipon. Moving on to the quarterfinal, her second fight of the day against the Israeli, Nelson Levy Timna. It's a much easier name to pronounce. Now, being the taller fighter, uh, Nelson looks to dominate the grips, but it ends up going to the ground quite a lot here, as some failed attempts just kind of end up with the action going to the ground. And Yoshida shows good defense, not to get Sankakud. So yeah, here we have Nelson over the top grip. And I do think Yoshida deserved a Shido there, but I don't think she did receive one. But she adapts, she knows that Nelson's going to go over the top. Starts to kind of find where her left hand should go to avoid these big pull downs. There we go, so she's grabbing the sleeve first now, starting to attack off the sleeve instead of worrying about that left hand. She realizes that she needs to go first. Over the top again by Nelson. And once she does that, Yoshida's going straight in and a nice little trip there. No score, but it's just sending a message. Hey, if you're gonna go over the top, I'm gonna start attacking. Now change the directions with the Sode. No score though. And a nice Uchimata attempt just on the bell, but as I said, Nelson's the taller player, and it's a bit difficult to get the lift needed for the Uchimata there. Katakuruma attempt, which I've never seen from Yashida before, but nothing wrong with adding new tools to the toolbox. And goes to the ground, but Yoshida gets up again and stabs him with a little Uchimata. And here we have the end of the bout, so as I said, Yoshida kind of figures out how to deal with that over the top grip. Now she's grabbing just slightly above the belt, gets close enough, finds the lift, and over to get the score and win the match. And that moves her on into the semi-finals where she is against Gajakova Nora from Kosovo and this was another lengthy tall opponent for Yoshida I guess she's probably used to this by now fighting on the international circuit usually the Japanese players are slightly at a height and reach disadvantage but that doesn't seem to affect them mostly 
a little bit of a nailwazer attempt here, but Yoshida has no problem dealing with that. And almost gets thrown here, and this is during Golden Score. But manages to roll it over into Nawaza. But the action gets stopped. And they stand up again. But I think this gives Yoshida an indication that, okay, hey, I can go to the ground. And I'm probably gonna be better at Nawaza than this person. So I'm gonna try it. And what happens here is the ref gets in the way of the camera. So thank you, ref. Maybe you could just move a little bit. But yeah, foot trip leads to the ground, and then Yoshida kind of gets the feeling that you know she can she can roll this person over and secure a pin. Here we go, and now in the guard, but a good knee slide happening. And Yoshida gets the pin. Secures a victory and into the finals now. So last matchup for Yoshida against the French player. Quite a classic matchup, Japan vs France. Quite often see this in women's judo. Yoshida in the blue. Now I guess that means that the French player is higher seated than Yoshida. Usually the higher seed ends up being white in the final. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that is the case. So what happens here is they both have pretty good defense and know what kind of attacks each one is going to do. So Yoshida ends up trying all sorts of attacks as well as the French player. So a nice double hand on the sleeve, a little Ochigari attempt there. Probably not going to lead to a throw, but just shows that you're being not passive. And the French women's team, they really love their Osotogaris. Nice sort of attempt here. Just not enough control to secure a point. And that was that could have been it. That was a really nice entry. But Yoshida did good, good to defend that. There's a lot of lift there. Quite dangerous. And I think Yoshida at some point just realizes, well, I'm getting tired. I'm probably not going to throw this person. She has such good defense. I'm probably just going to have to do what I did in the semi-final, get it to the ground, use my superior Nawaza, and win it that way. So an Uranagi attempt fails, gets to the ground, hooks in. So one arm on the belt, traditional rollover to the right side here. But once again, has to escape that leg. Already very good at it, as we've seen in the semi-final. Knee slide, and the exact same pin secures the victory and gold for Yoshida. So guys, that's it from me. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I would like to put out more women's videos, but I'm probably just going to do uh, the, the more popular fighters in the women's category. I'll do all the men's, but uh, just the way YouTube works with the algorithm and time constraints and whatnot. I think I'm just going to do the popular fighters for the women's. But if you want to see more women's judo, make sure to like and subscribe. Get this video out there. Share it with your friends. And of course, I will do more. Alright guys, thanks a lot. See you again.